Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. When I start the show, I get so many compliments. Thank you very much, Fumi Nation, down in the comment section about what I'm wearing, uh, jewelry, complexion, and I'm always so grateful. So I've decided I'm going to try anytime when I do an episode, maybe I'll go out quickly if the sun is great and I'll do like a little photo shoot thing so that you guys can see the look of the day. The dress today is by Warehouse. It's an old dress that I finally kind of sort of got into because I'm eating my salads. So let me just get up and show you. It's got three tiers. Maybe I'm gonna just move this back because you always ask me, there you go. There you go. Oh yes, this is exactly what the color of the dress looks like. Because of all of the lights, you know, it kind of just fades it out. But this is what the dress looks like. And then I'm wearing one of my bras. I'm wearing one of my bras. And I get a lot of samples. So I just wear them just to see if they work. This works for big busted girls. I know it's going to sell out. And this is what the dress looks like. This is the lining underneath and that's it. Um, I'm a medium, you know, I'm not a skinny girl. So this is what it looks like. And it's a pretty dress, you know, that you can wear to a wedding, to a garden party, whatever it works. And your bust is secure in there. I live for it. Darlings, what's going on? What is going on? This episode is very much about women. It's just about women. The way we don't support each other, the way we don't love each other, the way we disrespect each other. It always, I, in this scenario, which I'm going to talk about today, it's about the women from the youngest to the oldest. We still do not know how to love ourselves and we don't know how to love and support each other. And the man, the male is quiet and he just sees the crazy all the time. Uh, the necklace, is by Zara and um, the earrings, I can't remember, cheapies, cheapies, you know, because I lose them, you know, for the show. And then as you can see, I'm trying to do very well with my hands because I'm getting lighter. I don't kind of sort of like it. This is, as I've got, well, I live in London. For those of you that don't know, I live in London and I've gotten lighter over the years. I'm 54 now, and I was so dark and delicious when I was modeling in my 20s. But I'm, I've gone very, very light. But the thing is, my hands, as you can see, they're still very dark. So I'm just trying to even out the tone, and that goes for my feet as well. It is what it is. Anyway, what are we talking about? I have let this story fester. That's the kind of person that I am. I don't just jump onto stories because there's always a part one, two, three, four, five. And I just want to give you the whole juicy cake right here so that you can have one or two slices if you care. It is about Erica Dixon, her beautiful daughter Imani. Oh my God, I remember when Imani was so young. So, so, so young. It's also about Bambi and uh, Mama D. So what happened, my darlings? Let me sit back and give you this little tea. Imani, who I think is now 18. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I remember her when she was younger, when, you know, um, love and hip hop kind of sort of started. And Erica, was she married to um, Scrappy? I don't, but she, they, they were together anyway. Well, she's a teenager. She's a beautiful girl. And she went on live with her fans and she was talking with them. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason, I don't know. They kept on asking about her stepmother, who is Bambi. Bambi is now married to Scrappy and has three children with Scrappy. Erica also has three children, but I think she has twins by another relationship. Beautiful girls. Beautiful girls, beautiful children, beautiful family. All of them are really, you know, um, pleasant on the eyes. A fan asked, or a couple of fans asked about her stepmother. And she responded and said, stop asking me about my stepmother. Stop asking me about that lady, that woman. Something to that effect. Like, I'm anxious to graduate. Like, I wish...
please stop asking about my stepmom. Stop coming on here and asking about that lady. Do y'all see me post with her? Do you do you see me around her? No. So stop asking me about that lady. Right away, you already know that there's not a warm, cozy, fuzzy relationship between stepdaughter and stepmother. Right there. Because I know blended families. I know a bunch of blended families that are wonderful with each other. As a matter of fact, I just spoke to a girlfriend of mine and she was telling me how she's going out for lunch with her ex-husband's now wife. And I've mentioned that on the show here. I have a wonderful ex-boyfriend we dated in our 20s. I love his wife. He has two beautiful children. When I was pregnant with Adrian, they took us out, Ula and I out, for a, a baby shower dinner kind of thing. Relationships work and some don't work. It does not mean that every time it has to be hostile. Anyway, Bambi took it upon herself to put a picture on her Instagram to say that lady. Bambi, are you watching an 18 year old live on Instagram? Are you kissing out little beautiful Imani? Because you know what they say, just because they're not following you, doesn't mean that they're not following you. Bambi is the classic case because she had to have been watching Imani for that response. Bambi, I thought it was out of, it wasn't necessary. I love Bambi. I think she's such a beautiful woman. And um, I don't know everything behind the scenes, but Imani is only 18. If Ula had children from a prior relationship, I would walk in to my marriage with grateful tiptoes. Because I have to, I do, I do. I have to warm up to the children. The, sorry, I beg your pardon. The children have to warm up to me. I have to do the work. I'm not their mom. And they know that. And I have to try to make the best of a relationship with their mom. Because I love their dad. And if I love their dad, that's enough to marry him then I would make that conscious effort. I really would. I would do everything for Imani to like me, even if it was just a little bit, because children are very fragile. And when it comes to marriages and divorces, they get lost in the battle. And yet they should be the ones that we should think of first. So, on default, any which way you want to look at it. Bambi, you should have let it slide. At the very worst, you should have reached out to Imani with flowers, with chocolates, and say, Imani, what did I do? I'm sorry that you feel that way. I want you to know that I'm here whenever, whatever, that's what you should have done, Bambi, because you're an adult. I have been in a kind of sort of situation like that. And the girl was very rude. I completely ignored her. You're young. Life has not affected you in any way yet. You don't know what life is. You're a kid. And that's how you should take Imani, because Imani will get into her 20s, into her 30s. She's going to need women that support her, that don't judge her, that are always there, and sometimes just quiet. Just sit beside her and be quiet. I also love Erica. I think she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. I don't know why, I just, I just live for her bone structure. Erica, being a mama bear, jumped into the chat and said something about Bambi. Erica, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary because you know why? Bambi is so pained that she had to make a profile in honor of what Imani said. If you had stepped back just a little bit, you would have seen that it wasn't necessary. That Bambi is so twisted in and out 
that she's looking at little baby Imani's Instagram live. You see, when you get to your 50s, like me, when I tell you, oh God have mercy, I wish I had, I wish I had the insight, the foresight that I have now when I was younger, I would have avoided a lot of havoc in my life because you really see it for what it is. And um, Erica went on to say that there's no need for um, Imani to respond because Bambi can't do anything, something like that. Of course, Bambi responded to Erica. Erica, you using your daughter for views or for a storyline because I think Love and Hip Hop is filming. Well, remember the other episode that I did with Safari giving Rolex watches all over the place. Everybody's filming and so uh, there are storylines in place that are going on that are going to explode into the episode. It's going to make good TV, you know. And went on to say some off-color comments. Talking about she doesn't take care of her kids. She doesn't know how to take care of her kids. Something to that effect that she has abused Imani for years. Bambi said this. I was embarrassed to read it. And that's what I'm trying to say about women. We go for the jugular every single time. We tear each other apart. We tear each other down publicly. Something that should not have gotten anywhere went to a thousand gigabytes in two seconds flat. And yet we don't behave like that towards a man. Do you understand why I made the comment in the beginning? We don't behave like that when it's a man. Oh, we love you. Oh, we this. Ah, da, da, da. He will abuse you left, right, and center. You will still be there. Oh, my God. But for your, for your sisters, for your women, we tear each other down. That kind of gutter fight. That's what I think Bambi did. It's a gutter fight. You go into the gutter. You really just want to strip them from their skin alive. Mother and daughter. Bambi, that is how it looked. And I don't really follow all of you all. I don't. I used to back in the day. But I'm so busy with my brand, with Adrian, with Ula, with, you know, other stuff. I'm so busy. I don't have time. I just get bits and pieces. And that's all I need, actually. Just the ingredient and I can see where it's all going. Because we know that there's a storm behind the scenes. What I'm saying is that it has gotten down to the gutter level. Because that's where you're fighting. And so, um, Imani came up to speak on behalf of her mom and herself and said, yeah, you know what? Since you want to go that route, come and screenshot this while I go live and tell you, Bambi, you're not a mom. You're not talking about love. You don't love me. You wouldn't behave this way. And that you don't know how to take care of your three kids. You need my daddy. You need a nanny. You need your mother. My mom takes care of all of us. Yes, mama popped me in the mouth because I was being smart, but she can take care of me. I'm going to let everybody get in here so y'all can screen record and go post this too. Because stop playing with mama. Because we could do this all day. We could do this all day. So since we being all the way 100, she posted a paper of when I got in trouble because I was being smart and my mama popped me. That's nothing. Read the whole thing. That is nothing. Second of all, let's tell the truth about how my sister hair was falling out because you wasn't even washing her hair or bathing her properly. Um, you can't even watch all three of your kids by yourself. You need my dad and a nanny to be with you or your mama 24-7. So let's not talk about parenting. And me and my siblings are very well taken care of. And my mama go 100% for all of us. I don't have to stay in the child place. I'm 18. And you're not going to keep speaking or speaking on my part or my mom's part. You cannot love me as a child if you go around making dish checks about my father or talking about my mama. You don't have no respect. You don't love me. None of that. So cut it out. You don't love nothing. 
You don't love nothing because if you love me, you wouldn't be online doing all this. This ain't love, sweetie. Imani, you're young, you're adorable, and I love you for your courage. When it comes to children, you will, I hopefully, eventually find out it's not easy. It's not easy to take care of three children. It's not easy to take care of one child. I know that you are defending your mom, and I know that perhaps there are other stuff that Bambi might have done. But when it comes to children, every mother tries their best. I don't know Bambi. I don't know how Bambi is with her kids. Every mother tries. I believe it's, it's a hard job because it's a step and repeat every day and you will get to find out. I also like the fact that you spoke up for your mom because your mom is a single mom and she does the best by all of you. And she's been doing that since you were a little girl, when I first saw you. So in that retrospect, I'm sure Bambi does her best. It's just because there's been so much water under the bridge that none of us know, and you know for fact, that you're so angry with her, you'll throw everything at her. And I get it. And I get it. Bambi came back full force. Bambi had a recording. She had a recording of herself and Scrappy talking about Erica and Imani and how perhaps Imani had come and complained about her mom and she said such shocking things that perhaps Erica was, you know, um, sleeping with another man while she was expecting, while she was pregnant. Just really low down, horrible things. Girl finna be my last little go round. But that's me, that's, that's me knowing. I didn't say that, that, that had to be money. Can't tell her mom that, but what that's I'm, real. That, but that, that, but that what I'm saying, Scrub, is like how many times has she came and said all crazy stuff about her mom, right? And, and then would go to her mom and say crazy like that that right there is crazy because like now y'all using bits and pieces of what y'all want to pull out like if i say oh well imani said that you got 50 at your house all the time or imani say it's always in and out and you know somebody while you're pregnant now that's up because we know that you know what i'm saying this child is feeling like she got to pick a side whenever she's with the no, other no, person. No, no, this, this, this stuff is real. Like, I, I can, I can... Live. So it's not real when she was saying she was getting beat on and slapped on? Is no, that no, real? No, no, I'm asking you a question. Is that real yeah, or that's not? How, that's how I feel. I mean, you that's real yeah, or not? That's how I feel. I mean, you feel like how, it's real? That's how I feel. I mean, because that came from, it didn't come from a, a wrong kid. It came from a kid. Like, I didn't, I didn't see where she had to make nothing up or stuff. Like, I'm talking about, I, you know, like, I didn't... I, Hey, I'm, I mean, that's, that's how so, so is it is it real when she said, I hate my mom, I don't want to live with my mom? It, was that real? Yeah, yeah I mean, all this stuff is real, but I, I, my, my whole thing is, like, it's like, you know, it's people, everybody saying stuff from, from all over the place, and some of the stuff is real, some of that is not real, and I don't even know, I, don't, I, I just be hearing stuff. All I'm doing is I'm <laughs> reflecting... And me and you had a conversation and I told you, I said, Scrap, I feel like it's very, 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 it's scary for me the way that, you know what I'm saying? Nobody is stepping in and saying, okay, money, you got to be careful about what you're saying, right? No, no, no. What you're saying, no, right? No, no, no. And, to her. and, and to her. so, you know, I always felt like it was your place in certain places to kind of like establish some boundaries. It was never my place to, because I, I, I did my part. I said, I took you money. I said, you money, do you? Do you know why I have a problem with your mom? This is why I have a problem with your mom, because of the things that you told me. You told me these things. So that made me uncomfortable with, you know, it made me angry towards her. And I was being 100 percent. And, you know, she said, I, I, yeah, I get I understand. I said, so you have to be kind of careful with what you say. You know what I'm saying? My dad used to tell me stuff like that. I didn't get that to I all right. Yes, guys, I have a nanny and I have a chef 
And look, she, she got my food ready to go tonight. So thank you, Leah. I appreciate it. Scrappy was unaware that Bambi was recording him. At this point, I think the gloves were off for Bambi and she was really just going full on. Because I don't know how you can come back from that into a marriage. I don't know because it, it, Bambi is unforgivable. You have to understand, you know, you're looking for war, you know, and um, I don't know why you would do that to another woman that is just trying to get up in the day and raise her kids. You are married to the father of her child. It's a relationship that didn't work out. I'm sure she's over it, but she has to constantly live in a world with you in it. And that cannot be easy. Erica came out and she went on to talk about how Bambi had actually gone out to try to get Erica's children away from her. I'll kill you. I promise you I will. Not physically, but in every other way. I couldn't imagine somebody doing that to me and Adrian. Because Adrian is my oxygen. I can't live without him. I cannot breathe without him. When I get up in the morning and Adrian goes to school, it has to be worth it. That time away from him, I work. I work, I work out, I clean the house, I do paperwork, I'm busy. I don't waste that time. The time is hurtful because I'm away from my son. Yes. So if I get up, especially even with jobs, is it worth the money? Is it worth me being away from Adrian and Ula? And does it kind of sort of make me happy? I really think about those things before I go to work. And then you would go and make a police report to take my child away from me? <laughs> it, it just, it's crazy to me how <laughs> you still on these abuse allegations bambi you and scrappy tried to have my kids taken from me like i said y'all were some miserable people you still are miserable you're so bothered by me love and i guess you're just going to continue to be and and i get it if i wasn't me i'd be bothered by me too but here's the thing anybody can make a police report i can go do a, a police report now and say i seen bruises or seen some you know what i'm saying on money any it's a police report, but what you need to post is the paperwork from the whole investigation. Cause I went through everything. Cause I ain't got nothing to hide. My kids are well taken care of and see me love. I can do it with or without a man. That's the difference. So I'm not going to go back and forth with you on social media. I'm not tagging you in no stories or nothing. Like we just sat down and talked. It got heated. You got up and walked away. So everything that you're saying online, we can meet again. Like I'm open to it. Let's let's meet again. And you thought it was a good look for you. It makes you look bad. It proves my point that you are one miserable person. Like you tried to get my kids taken from me and you weren't successful. That's why I'm laughing because you're talking about it like, it's, it, but you weren't successful, hon. It was false allegations. And it, again, it shows how miserable you are. Like you got kids of your own now, like focus on that. That's, that's just what you need to do. So I'm going to say my piece. And I know Imani been on live going back and forth. Imani. Stay out of it. Yes, you are 18, but stay out of it. Like, don't, mm -mm, don't go back and forth.
<laughs> somebody said he money had your back. I get it. I'm her mom. And, you know, I know she was heated because, like she said, I never said any of this. Like, you know, this is what, you know, y'all was doing. <laughs> somebody said the palace in shambles. I guess it is. <laughs> y'all got to talk to Mama D about that. And so Mama D entered the chat. Walking around with stuff on. Okay. Mm. All right. Help me, Lord. So, you know. Yeah, that's true, though. Straight up. So you got to watch what you call people kids. And you live in that same life. Okay? If money is born into that life, somebody else just got on the bandwagon. You just married that life and been so blessed and take it for granted. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. Yeah, it is sad. I'm hurting. My son is hurting. Imani and Erica is hurting. I'm tired of our side getting victimized and then the other side get taken up for and made excuses for. We're not doing that. If you want to call it a draw, both sides wrong. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? Like, straight up. You tried to warn them scrap this one on the board and she took it. Yes, yeah, she did. She did very much. My family is real life. It's right now in real time. And uh, it hurt. And people ask me sometimes, is that stuff that go on TV real? Of course. Unfortunately, it is. So, it's truly sad to see children being put in the middle of adult situations. All these children are going to have to live with what's being seen. Yes, I think your money just exploded um, because a lot of things had been done to her uh, from the BAM and her mother. Her mother called Iman a label, but yet BAM be seen on Instagram toting every label she can put on her back. See what I'm saying? You got to be, you got to watch your wolf in sheep clothing that claim and talk, talk the talk and ain't walking the walk. You feel me? Like for real, for real. My granddaughter's a lady, but my, okay. All right. <laughs> but you, you, I keep having to get off because people keep calling. Um, yeah, what my family is going through is very disturbing. Um, it's crazy. My son is about to lose his mind. Um, my granddaughter's back and I have Erica's back because I would not address an 18 year old for nothing. You couldn't pay me to do that. It could be your 18 year old. I would never, I would just, no. Mm -mm. I would never display childlike ways. Pray for us, thank you. Yeah, the palace, but you know what? Guess what? Uh, God got it. See, y'all got the, you know how we, when we, when we pray or we talk to Jesus and we say, God help me. See, you can't get it to him and take it back. You can't, you know, you can't take, give God your problems. You know, you know, you can't take it back. You got to give it to him. When you give it to him, let him have it, okay? Let him have it. So, it's going to get okay because this too shall pass. And I admit it. I'm not going to. Yeah, my granddaughter Money is a good girl. You know, she's an A student. You know, she meant nothing by it. Talk about that woman. You know. Yeah, she's still a child. So, why would you address the 18 year old? But you know what? Everybody that tells you they mature ain't mature because you can tell by their actions. Because I done show. <laughs> Go back with nobody 18 year old child. And she said, pray for us. We're going through it. But she stood up for Erica and for Imani. The irony of it all. I remember when I stopped watching the show because Erica and Mama D used to get into it all the time and I used to wonder why. Why couldn't somebody say, let me fly the white flag? Mama, I need you. 
I'm married to your son, but I also need you as a mother. Why could Mama D say, I need a daughter? I don't have any daughters. So I'm so happy you walked into my life. It's easier. And what happened? Somewhere down the line, it just didn't work out. And Bambi walked into Scrappy's life. And now you're seeing that, you know what? We were so better off with Erica. But look at it. It's a mess. It's a mess. You were all in my DMs, my younger girls. Fumi, please, I want your opinion. I want your opinion. This is my opinion. It's just sad. It's just sad. Mama D, the oldest, the matriarch, love her. I love the way she came out here talking about, you know, pray for the family. And she was in support of Erica. I guess she kind of, sort of, should be able to talk to Bambi. And then you have baby Imani, who is 18. And her life and world is just starting out. And as a blended family, it should mean that I have two moms and I have lots of sisters and brothers and I have a loving father and we all love and respect each other and amen I still have my grandmother my grandmother is still alive all my grandparents passed away before I was 12 before I was 12 I lost all of them it would have been wonderful I got to see my mom's dad fleetingly. I got to see my grandmothers. They were fun. It's so funny because when you see your grandparents, then your parents look so young. <laughs> you know, the same thing with uh, Daddy Vold. When I see Daddy Vold, then Ula really just looks like the youngest child. It's nice. By extension, they give you so much love. They spoil you so much. You know, Ula and I, are, we are the only ones here in London. That's it. You know, family spread out. The same thing with, you know, my other siblings and his also. We're all spread out. And so when I see this and I see family, I get very envious. Is, is, is that the word? Envious? Jealous? I wish for me, anyway, in a good way, for Adrian to have that, you know. And so to have it and to not appreciate it is sad. So that is it, my darlings. It's all about women. We have to teach our daughters. We have to teach each other. Sometimes we just have to come up out of it and just be done and say, you know what, Erica, I'm sorry. Come, let's try and make some kind of relationship out of this for our kids. Our children are brothers and sisters. I don't get it. All right, my darlings, don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, and let me know down in the comment section what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I half and half? You know, I feed off of you guys. And yes, I now know that um, it's no longer Larissa, it's Larsa. <laughs> Scotty Pippin's wife. I kept on saying Larissa. Larsa, I thought it was Larsa, but uh, Larissa, but her name is Larsa. Because you corrected me. For me, get the name right. You're always getting the names wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, my darlings. I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. God bless. <laughs>